Hello my fellow maniacs, welcome back, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a spoiler-free review of the LEGO Movie 2. So this video will contain no spoilers for the movie, so you can watch this before you see the movie. This will just kind of be my general thoughts on the movie, so no spoilers here. So just to go ahead and jump right into it, the movie was amazing. I just got out of an early showing, and wow, it was just... There's so much I want to say, but it's all spoilers, so I won't say it here. Um... Yeah, it was just amazing. The animation was beautiful. The story was amazing. And even though, you know, the plot leaked or whatever that it was going to be about gender roles and stuff, that's not what – I don't think that's what the overall story was about. Um, it If it wasn't, then it followed a much better message. And it's something that I could very personally relate to, like on a deep level. Um so the message was amazing. I think it was probably better and definitely more relevant to the times today than the old than the first Lego movie. Now, that's not saying that this is magnificently better than the first one. They're probably about equal for me. Um so yeah, the message was really good. The plot, I love the plot. Honestly, uh there was a there's a huge plot twist in there that I was not expecting and that makes two movies that I've seen in the last 2 months that have caught me off guard, which would be Into the Spider-Verse in this movie. And I love that movies are finally coming back, and I'm being surprised by them, and they're not following the same generic plot that every other movie follows. Um, now, this movie, it, they, people are saying that it is a musical, and that is semi-true. Um, if you're not a fan of musicals, do, don't not go see this movie. This movie does not, like, it does not, it does not become a musical. There are only two, like, musical-esque segments in it, maybe three, depending on what you consider a musical. So it's not a huge part of the movie, but it is still a part of the movie. And it's not, like, in your face either. It's very much toned down, and it's not, like, anything super crazy. Um, the Sistar system was great. I love all of the different puns. There are so many name puns in this movie that it's just amazing. I love the evolution. Well, like, I don't know. I love the evolution of Emmett's character, and I feel like the way they handled the story with, like, growing older and, you know, doing th that kind of stuff. Um, it's just, the, the overall story went really good. I can't say anything without spoiling it. Um, so, yeah, non-spoiler review. Movie was amazing. You definitely need to go check it out, especially since the Ninjago movie did not do as well. We want LEGO to know that we enjoy more LEGO movies and we want more LEGO movies. So, please, even if you haven't seen the Lego Batman movie or the Lego Ninjago movie, please just go see this movie. We need Lego to know that this is something we want more of because it was such an amazing movie, and I'm actually probably going to end up going and seeing it again. So, yeah, that's my spoiler-free review of the Lego movie, too. I know it's kind of short. Now, stay tuned, guys. I'll be putting out a little bit longer spoiler review pretty soon. So if you go see the movie tomorrow or tonight, I guess, whenever this video goes up, um, you can come back and watch the spoiler review and I'll go in more there. So if you guys did enjoy this non-spoiler review of the Lego movie 2, the second part, make sure you smash that like button. You can also hit subscribe and turn on that notification. Turn on the notifications. That way you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. You can also check me out on Instagram. It'll be link in the description. And uh, yeah, so I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.